All right, people, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2. So this is Round 1, Match 2. You're getting 8 matches, 8 matches in one round, so pretty much one round is a month long. You guys are getting plenty of content uh, pretty much every weekend. So we have our second match here. We have the Kite Galaxy Photons in the YCS division with the Captain Lunar Slushy, who... If you guys want to go ahead and thank Linsashi, the wonderful art, art that you see here, that that's him. That's him. Uh, and he is versing his first opponent, which is the Jaden Neospatians in the regional division, or the second lowest division, uh, ran by Blue Hot 479. So we have Tier 1 ABCs here at the bottom versus Tier 2 Metaphos here at the top. So this is definitely decks we are familiar with w from this format. Uh, so, if ABCs win, that is one point for the Galaxy Photons, but if Metaphos wins, that is two points to the Jaden Neospatian. So, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, I am blind just like you. I have not seen this, so I'm going to be reacting just like you guys. So, we both we know that both of these decks are very, very strong. Uh, they can out-resource you, they can plus you, and the Pendulum mechanic, as we know, is very strong. Wow. Uh, I mean, he didn't really do too much special summoning, so the Maxi wouldn't, doesn't seem like it'd be too useful. Uh, opening hand-wise, uh, the Metal Foes didn't open up too terrible. Uh, the D-Barrier, one of the best negs in the game, you know, just go ahead and call it, and they can't play whatever they're playing. Uh, counter and combination. Uh, you can pop that combination with your Metal Foes of Flame next turn, get a search, and the counter will go off to summon. Uh, as we know from the ABCs, they had some plays too. Didn't open up with any terraformings or your Union Hanger, so that kind of sucks. So, uh, potentially looking to see if he can uh, get into his um, his Bujin Tsukiyomi, but nope, there's that D barrier. And nope, no exceeding for you, but <laughs> you still take the damage, and that is a nice chunk right there. Of course, the Photon Thrasher can attack with this other monster in the field, but there's still 17 and 19. Uh, and then set a D barrier all your own, so you could just be like, um, Pendulum, and then you can't Pendulum summon. So, D barrier is still a great card until Link Summon comes out and it's just like, oh, what are you gonna, are you gonna call Link Summon? I don't know, I don't know if they're gonna like maybe update the card by then. Wow, and actually use the, the, the Eccentric to pop his own combination. Combination will, of course, hit the search, which means that you still get, uh, you still have the Metal Foes, Vol uh, the Metal Foes Volflame effect still available. Uh, playing the Maxi now, even though nothing's really being summoned, combinations go enough to get a search, but not a summon, so... Uh, but we are seeing a Pendulum summon now, so... Uh, while there is a D-Barrier, and it's like, yeah, you could go ahead and play the D-Barrier and take an egg, maybe you're gonna try to even out, uh, or potentially plus off of the Maxi, so... Uh, in my opinion, like, Max C and Dimension Barrier are kind of the same card. It's just like, I'm going to stop you by either you allowing me a plus, or I'm going to stop you by, you know, taking the next. Either are they're pretty much the same card. One's just better going first, one's better going second, but they basically do the same job. So, a Mass Pendulum Summon, and uh, an even out one Max C for the Union Hanger, which is definitely what you need to see. And we're just seeing uh, the Cleefort Monolith being thrown in for the Infinity plays. Uh, but it was at least strong enough to run over the A, but as we know, they like to be in the graveyard, so terraforming for uh, the Union Hanger, and here we go, you know, the, once the Union Hanger hits the field, the ball starts to get rolling, and rolling it is. Uh, the plussing, the searching, the, the banting, there is the ABC, and uh, banish, attack, attack, and oh my god, like, the, the duel's turned around. I wouldn't say that uh, Metal Foes are out, that... Uh, well, it sucks that you just got your Volflame banished by, you see, you cracked the scales, that sucks. Uh, you see, Pot of Desires, and bam, there is the scale. That's exactly what you need, exactly. Like, it's a beautiful draw, Pen Bass Pendulum Summon. I'm surprised that, uh, there's no flip up this, of this dimensional barrier. You're just gonna allow him to Pendulum Summon all over you? Alright, we're gonna see APC, uh, separate into its three parts. And then, of course, the Union Hango golfs well. And uh, despite this deck being quote unquote powder creep, uh, it has not been hit in the TCG. Uh, that, of course, Zodiacs are just so powerful. But hey, at least Zodiacs aren't in the league. Zodiacs are not in the league, people. So that's pretty good. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's not a uh, still a great deck. As long as Union Hanger is at three, this deck shall 
and you know once things move out especially with how the slow with the link mechanic is you can still just you know union hanger and then contact into your one extra deck space that abc buster so you know you still have plays uh we're seeing utopia and of course utopia lightning oh and it gets hit with a strike but no, and there's another ABC bus and another ABC bus. They're like, oh my god, two of them? And now, I mean, this duel's pretty much over. Uh, we're seeing uh, full Metal Fuse Fusion, but it gets hit with Dimensional Barrier, but uh, I guess the, ch the summon's already resolved, so. But it doesn't matter. The duel is over. The duel is over. Our resource outplayed, and it is over. So, it is game one to ABCs to the, the Kite Galaxy Photon. So, we're going to go ahead and come back for. Uh, Game two and potentially game three. So, all right, people. So here we go. Game two. So opening hands. Uh, the ABC. I mean, it's got that. Once you get that union hanger, you know, like uh, definitely TCG and OCG. They limit union hanger. That's fine. But some of this, something needs to happen. Like triple, pretty much six union hangers with your triple terraforming is just so good. Uh, while Metaphors over here opened up pretty well as well. You got that bum kavoo, so we can normal summon bum kavoo, get the search of Kira, and set up your pendulum scales and pendulum summon. Uh, are your scales correct? Yeah, your scales are correct. And pendulum summon that Kira, and we already know how annoying that be. So here we go. That's exactly what I thought. So, ooh, oh, play the Kira. Oh, because you could pop the Kira, and it'll go back to extra deck, and you can just pendulum summon it from the extra deck. That's smart, smart. So that's just pretty much it. I thought you were just going to pendulum summon from the handbook. Why do that when you can just pop it with metaphones, get that plus, and then pendulum summon it right out of your extra deck? So, uh, pretty good, pretty good. But uh, we'll see if that Karen can handle this situation. Oh, no, smart, smart. Just special summon the Thrasher and just to try to uh, handle the the Karen before it gets to be an annoyance. So, uh, we see the Karen protect by bouncing Bumpku, so the Bumpku can be normal summon, get a uh, search for. Uh, I believe the only thing in here is just three Bunkoo and Bunkoo and Karen. So Bunkoo can search Bunkoo, so there might be a rank three play in the future, possibly. But the plays are there, and it's like, yeah, you can bounce the Thrasher, but I'll just special summon the Thrasher again. So you bait it out to Karen. Oh, oh, hit, get hit with that uh, Solemn Warning, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but, I mean, it served its purpose because it was probably going to pop either crack a scale or pop a background anyway. So you got 2,000 life points out of him. But it definitely seems like the ball might be in the Metal Foes corner right now. That Kieran, like this card, it needs to get banned. It needs to get banned. Mass Pendulum Summon. Oh, but Strike. Strike. Oh, if, if, if there wasn't a Strike hit right there, that might have been game. But, I mean, there's a nice chunk. Down to only 3,300 from the ABC. Ah, and there is that Vanity's Emptiness. So, if you can, like, handle this field. So, we're seeing Union Hanger being played. Oh, no. Kieran, it's going to bounce. It's going to go Graveyard. Oh, but B is going to go ahead and get that search. And is that A, B, and C in the graveyard? Yes, that is. So we will be seeing a ABC uh, Buster Dragon. Go ahead and crack some scales by banishing. And then flip up the anti-spell to make sure that you're not playing your scales again. So that hurts. That hurts right there. Uh, and it, did he actually draw into the right uh, scale? I believe he did. I believe this is uh, Volflame. I believe Volflame is an 8, right? No, Volflame is a 1, so... Uh, I don't believe the scales were there anyway, but uh, just keep on summoning that Bunkaboo, searching at that Bunkaboo, because Bunkaboo can search Bunkaboo, why not? Oh, and tried to play the Metal Foes Fusion, but nope, Vanity's Emptiness, the, the powerful, you don't get to play Yu-Gi-Oh card, gets flipped, the Metal Foes Fusion uh, fizzles, but can still return to the deck to get a search, and uh, we're seeing ABC Buster go ahead and uh, pitch to banish a card. Uh, Kieran's gonna go ahead and bounce, and oh, it's so close, it's so close. Just he, no one can special summon right now with the vanities. Does he have a way to turn the vanities off? But the Kieran is locking it down, definitely locking it down. Equip, crash, take the damage, vanities turns off, and then, damn, there's ABC again, crack the scales again, and uh, this, he might be in trouble. He might be in trouble. The Vanities is turned off, so you can see, he can go ahead and separate. Uh, the Anti-Spell makes it so, uh, the Metaphors cannot set up the Pendulum Scales, and they're both cracked. They're gone. Uh, so, uh, even, yep, yep, going on the uh, defensive now. <laughs> and ABC is separating, and no matter the strength of, uh, Karen, doesn't matter if you can just keep on grabbing back your ABCs. Uh, can I, oh, we're gonna go ahead and see Utopia the Lightning and ABC Buster. Uh, and at this point, that that's game. That I'm like, I mean, it's not game, but I mean, it's looking like it. You can't. Kieran's gone. Your skills are cracked. You can't set him up. And yeah, yeah. And Topia Lightning is like, yeah, f you. No, nope. all right, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's game. That's game. So we're using a 2-0 uh, 
from ABCs by Metaphos, so that means that the, fo the Kite Galaxy Photons are rewarded with one point, while the Jaden Neospatians took a L zero points rewarded, so... Uh, uh, that was good. That was good too. Like, wow. You know, I think I, me personally, I think we're starting it off strong. Uh, so tell me what you guys think about this duel. And like I said, if you guys can go ahead and do me a favor by just supporting uh, the league and the channel, uh, hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already, hitting the bell for notifications, hitting that like button to show your support. Uh, in the description below, go to the Discord for the leagues, the community Discord. Join a team and support whoever you would love to support. And also, if you haven't already, uh, follow the Yu-Gi-Oh! Teardraft League Twitter as well, the official Twitter. When we once get the once we get the ball really rolling and we're going to be announcing, hey, we are recording live. The duel is going on right now. If you guys can just hop on and watch uh, as the matches are going on live. So. Uh, I think for the first uh, two matches, the one and two out of, just, like I said, just the regular season, not including the playoffs, 120 total people. This is going into 2018. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. Uh, it was pretty fantastic. It was pretty fantastic. These replays were just mwah, mwah, wonderful, great duels, uh, both of them, both of them. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, and I hope you guys are enjoying the channel Evil Mastery. We finally have rounded out the channel, you know, uh, the entire month of February. It's been we've been missing something i definitely we've been missing the league you know that's that saturday and sunday uploads but now you're getting uploads every single day you guys get, are getting uh live streams during the weekends i think that the ubo mastery channel is definitely a channel worth subscribing to so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all support i really do appreciate it. thank you guys for reporting ubo mastery me the channel the league everything and i am looking forward to seeing you guys next weekend where on saturday we are going to be checking out round one match three and then on sunday round one match four we're going to be halfway done uh with just round one Plenty of content, plenty of content, guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching.